The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs recently engaged stakeholders in a consultation on COVID-19 vaccine policy aimed at addressing vaccine hesitancy and improving vaccine coverage in St. Lucia. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belma george says she is very pleased that the consultation provided an opportunity for the public to be involved in the decision-making process as to foster acceptability of the COVID-19 vaccine. The majority of the consultation was giving us a chance to listen to the voice of the various stakeholders. So it ranged from those members who were completely against the use of the vaccines and they were able to give us what some of their fears were, what some of their concerns were, and they also indicated how they would prefer vaccines to be rolled out, how they wanted it to be uh, made available to the public. So we did take note of the viewpoints of a lot of those stakeholders and we invited them in one week to provide their position paper which we are going to use to guide so that cabinet can get a feel of the opinions and the ideas and the views of the various stakeholders for their for their information anatomical pathologist dr stephen king says he was delighted to participate in this consultation and to have the feedback from the public it went through a whole series of emotions um, there was a lot of disagreement, a lot of conversation, but I think that was what is important because none of us have the absolute truth and it's only together that we can find the best way forward. The other thing I, I, I think that struck me was the need for, for information, the need to have more of these kinds of dialogues, the, the need to engage people more. Um, the more we educate, the more we engage, in fact, the more we become educated, because I don't have all the information and knowledge. I learned in, in that consultation, speaking to people. Dr. Sharon Belma george also said it is important to continue the promotion of stakeholder dialogue as to chart a roadmap for recommendation on the vaccine policy. So this is the first of others to come. And especially since a new vaccine, the Pfizer vaccine, will be available from 12 years and older, we are hoping to have another consultation, but this time with our local pediatricians and with the Ministry of Education as well on board to, to guide and to have a discussion because we have to allow parents as well to, to, to voice their concerns. We have to let teachers voice their concerns as well. So we need to look at every, every stakeholder to ensure that um, their voice is heard. The Ministry of Health thanks the stakeholders including the Medical Fraternity, Legal Fraternity, Trade Union Federations, Business Sector, Tourism Sector, Community Leaders and the Media to name a few for their participation in this consultation. Reporting from the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Fennel Neptune.